Well, the uh, Raw show on Monday had several big angles, including Drew McIntyre quitting uh, WWE. And deleting all of his social media. Yeah, deleted all of his social media. He's uh, playing this one, uh, you know, I mean, all the way. Yeah. And uh, we also had the debut of the Wyatt Six, Uncle Howdy and his creeps. And... uh, it was a debut. They murdered everybody. They murdered many people backstage. Here's yeah. here's my biggest problem with this whole thing, okay? Yes. So Drew quit, mm-hmm. right? And he goes backstage through the curtain, and he confronts Triple H mm-hmm. in Gorilla. Mm-hmm. And he goes to leave, and Anna Pierce says, I'll take care of this. And so he leaves with Drew. Hunter is still in, in Gorilla. Well, when these guys murdered everybody, everybody in Gorilla was murdered. Except for Hunter. How do you know that? Because they're not going to murder him. Well, he, that's ridiculous. Where was he, the guy? He, he, maybe he was in the bathroom. I don't know. But uh, mm. he ain't getting murdered. I don't you know, know man. This and one. it's like it's a, He's like the video game. Remember the video game? The video game? Yeah, when he was in the video game. He was they unbeatable? Were when they wouldn't let anyone have com- to put commercials on with him uh, selling. Wow, How yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, he ain't getting he ain't getting murdered. Well, anyway, the show also opened with the return of Seth Rollins, and he came out. And what do you think of that? I mean, the thing with those guys is like the people were waiting for it, and they were really. Are we back excited. on the main event segment? Yes, we're back on the main event segment, and the people were the people were really excited about it, and they reacted really, really big. And, you know, they murdered everybody. But the thing is, like, what happens when they have to wrestle? Well, that's the whole thing. I, I have no thoughts on it yet because it was just a return angle. They had to do something. And uh, the question is, well, now what? I mean, yeah, they're going to have matches and guys going to wrestle in a bird outfit. I mean, the Vintner's got a giant mallet. I mean, I don't know. He had, he had I, I certainly, I mean... As a fair and, and, man, and, I'll give it a shot, but I have low expectations for this one here. Yeah, I, I, I'm like, there's, 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 there's a lot of concern because for this angle, you know, these guys have to be supermen, and so many of them, and 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 everything, doing the the no cell thing. I mean, does that mean Nikki Cross is going to turn into? Um, remember when Alexa Bliss had that superhuman strength for a yeah, while? Yeah, it sucked. It did suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and rest and, in peace, Bray Wyatt. But a lot of that stuff sucked. You killed off a lot of baby faces. He did. He did kill off a lot of baby faces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And now there's now there's uh, six of them. Yeah. So um, it's a, it's a tricky one to book. Like it's it you know part. I mean, the first one you know clearly got over big with the crowd. And the other interesting thing is is that like I I I mean I can see it now. It's really obvious. But, um, you know, it's like, I guess the big feud would be Jey Uso because Jey Uso was doing the Bray Wyatt entrance. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean... I mean, they brought him in. They brought him in right when Jey Uso had, had won. Yeah. But it was also, they did a, a main event involving Jey Uso, and this obviously had to go on last. So I guess they could have put that match somewhere yeah, but, else. But I, 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 think, I think that that's not a coincidence. You know, he does the entrance with all the lights, and then... He wins, and then all the lights, and then these guys come. So, and they've been <sighs> doing the lights thing for him for for a while. So, uh, he might be the he might be the point man in this thing. Mm, I feel bad for the guy. I kind of do we too. Yeah, Jey Uso, Finn Balor, Rey Mysterio, three way Money in the Bank qualifier, and uh, it was a good professional WWE three way. But I mean, there was nothing that was all that exceptional about it. It was all right. I mean, it was it was the best match on the show. Yeah. Which is low praise. It is low praise, I know. Ray made a comeback. He had a double Hurricane Rana. Goes up to the top. Dom interferes. He goes after Dom. Carlito and JD triple team him. Braun runs down. He chases him off. And then Finn makes a big comeback. He hits a coup de gras on Ray. But then Jey Uso comes off the top. Hits a splash. Pins Finn Balor. So Jay's qualified for Money in the Bank. And as he's celebrating, the lights go out. Everybody turns on their iPhone lights, and first we get a spooky door, and it opens up, and everything goes black, and then we get a creepy figure, Nikki Cross, crawling towards a lantern, and she points to the backstage area, 
And the camera heads backstage. This is all one uninterrupted cut, by the way. Which, when you hear about how it goes, that was a pretty ballsy move. So there's bodies everywhere. The vintner is there in a rabbit mask. He's got his big mallet. More bodies are laid out. Strowman is there. We get uh, presumably Dexter Loomis in a bird mask. We got uh, Huskus in a gas mask. I believe that's Joe Gacy. Chad Gable's shown all dead and bloody. And then there's Uncle Howdy. And they've given him the Bray Wyatt dreadlocks. And he walks through the curtain with the rest of these creeps. Picks up the lantern and blows it out as the show goes off the air. And, I mean, the crowd was into it, you know. They they They're cheered for it. They were happy to see it. They chanted holy shit when Uncle Howdy showed up. And uh, it's the follow-up. It's yep. always the follow-up. Oh, yeah, especially in this one, yeah. And we'll see what the follow-up is to murdering everybody yep. in the backstage area. So, yeah, that was a Raw show. So next couple of days, we got uh, a bunch of shows. Obviously, the NXT show is tonight. We have got Kalani Jordan versus Meechin. Uh, for the North American title, titles on the line. We have Roxanne and Lola Vice versus Lash Legend and Jakara Jackson versus JC Jane and Jasmine Nix. Oba Femi is doing a promo, and the show is opening with a 25 man number one contender battle royal to determine Trick's next challenger. And Cody last week said it would involve, quote, multiple locker rooms. So I presume some people from TNA and uh, Ron SmackDown as well, part of these 25. And then for Dynamite on Wednesday, we have got MGF and Roosh commercial free as the opening match. We have got Young Bucks versus The Acclaimed in a title eliminator. Mark Briscoe, Kyle O'Reilly, Orange Cassie, and Dante Martin versus Roderick Strong, Kyle Fletcher, Takeshita, and Zack Sabre Jr. in an all-star eight-man we got the Tony Storm Mina Shirakawa contract signing, and Swerve and Will Ospreay will go face to face. So that's Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then SmackDown Friday we got the return of CM Punk, and we have Money in the Bank qualifiers: Kevin Owens versus Grayson Waller versus Andrade, and we have got Randy Orton, Carmelo Hayes, and Tama Tonga mm -hmm. is a qualifying match, and then uh, next week's Raw: Chad Gable, Bronson Reed, and Braun Strowman. In a three-way. So two giant dudes and a little guy. And then uh, Lyra, Shayna, and Kyrie Sane for the Women's Money in the Bank qualifier. So uh, that's the lineup for uh, the upcoming shows here. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.